is folic acid the secret to curbing allergies and asthma? Joining us with more is Mark Mancola, PhD, a natural health care practitioner from Cohasset, Massachusetts. Good to have you here, Mark. Good to be here. What do you think about folic acid? A very important John Hopkins study, believed to be the first of its kind, that makes that corollary. All right. And uh, what is it about folic acid? Well, folic acid, of course, is a protective agent. A number of different genetic-based studies say that it protects us from a lot of these DNA assaults that create a lot of these problems. So this particular study is really interesting, suggesting that it may make a significant difference at lowering risks for asthma and allergies. Is it a big study? Uh, they followed 8,000 folks over an extended period of time, ages 2 to 85, and found a 16% increased risk for asthma and a 31% increased risk for allergies, lower to higher. Is there a specific recommendation that's come out of this? Well, they suggest that folks really follow the diet plan that, you know, has a 400 microgram input for folic acid. You know, obviously green leafy vegetables, uh, the idea of using more whole grains versus processed grains, uh, nuts, beans, legumes. All right. And uh, what about a supplement? Is that important? I think, you know, folks should certainly check with their physician, but I think the idea is that we really need to consider this important as a supplement as well as a food-based nutrient because it is water-soluble, which means we don't tend to hang on to it quite as long. So important for folks, especially with allergies, folks with asthma conditions, to really make sure they're getting enough folic acid both in the diet, like sort of the whole grains, et cetera, and to supplement also 400 micrograms in, in pill form. It's out there, right? I mean, it's commonly in your multivitamin and it, cereals and that kind of thing? It is, and there's a lot of reinforced uh, items out there as well, like a lot of the orange juices and things like that now are reinforced with folic acid. So it's pretty easy to obtain enough folic acid, but still in all, I think the idea is to get more of a sort of natural diet, more whole grain products, more greens, green leafy vegetables, et cetera, and to supplement, as I said, with 400 micrograms a day. All right, might make a difference. Absolutely. All righty, Mark Mancola, thanks for joining us. Thank you. And if you want more information, you can check out Mark's website, maxhealing.com.